hey youtube welcome back to my channel so you guys i'm super excited about today's recipe um i am from the south and we love a good sweet potato pie but i wanted to kind of twist it up a little bit um just from the traditional pie so today here we have sweet potato pie and cupcake form get into it so all things sweet potato all the spices the cinnamons the nutmegs y'all my house smelled so good making these cupcakes we topped it off with some cream cheese frosting and that combination is absolutely insane when i tell y'all these cupcakes are literally just god sent it it turned out so good and just a great spin on a classic dessert let's get into the recipe so here I have um, sweet potatoes and we're of course going to wash them. Now in the video you'll see that I have like four or five of them. You won't need that many of course all um, measurements and ingredients used will be located in the description box below. So you're going to wash your potatoes and make sure that all the dirt is off of them. Then you're going to take a fork or a knife and you're going to poke um, a few small holes in it. Um, when we roast these potatoes, it's going to create like little, um, like a little insulation vent, if you will, so that the juices, it doesn't explode. So you want to go ahead and poke, um, I do like four or five different sets of holes, and then I'm going to put them in the microwave. I know most people usually roast them in the oven, but sometimes we ain't got time for that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put it in the microwave. And I started off with six minute, um, Six minute rounds, how do you, yeah, six minute rounds. And then I worked my way down from there. So I did have to, you know, keep putting it in until it was done. So once my sweet potatoes were done, you're gonna go ahead and gut them. Um, now I will say if you see that your sweet potato is a little bit stringy, um, you could avoid putting it in it, but you don't wanna waste a whole potato. So um, just try if you can, if not, then it's okay. It's a way to beat them out. So you're just gonna go ahead and gut it. Now I will say that you need to kind of wait because those sweet potatoes were a little hot. As you can see, I have all my potatoes and then I have my hand mixer. And then we're gonna go ahead and turn this into like a puree. We're gonna go ahead and mash them. So to get rid of the strings, you are going to beat it just like this. And then you're gonna pull the, the whisk attachments out of it. And then you're gonna, all the strings will naturally like wrap around the whisk attachment and you just rinse it off and then repeat until it's done and boom you have pureed sweet potatoes okay so in my stand mixer um i have white sugar i'm gonna add brown sugar also gonna add vegetable oil into this mixture okay and this is going to ensure that our cupcakes are nice and moist and then we're going to go ahead and give that a mix until all of our ingredients are well incorporated so once your sugar starts to look like this you're going to go turn the mixer down to low and then you're going to add in your eggs one at a time and then you want to make sure that it's just milk mixed um, and incorporated before you're adding in the next egg So once you have all of your eggs added in, you're gonna go ahead and throw in your sweet potato puree. Again, all of the measurements and ingredients used will be located in the description box below. Now we're gonna add in our vanilla, our cinnamon, nutmeg, the smell. We have bacon powder and baking soda. And then we're gonna go ahead and start adding in our flour. So I did add in the flour um, a half a cup at a time just because I didn't want a flour dust ball um, poofing back up at me. So I did, you know, add a little, stir a little, add a little, stir a little. And as you can see, it mixed down because the recipe is very moist. You have the moistness from the vegetable oil, you have the moistness from the sweet potato. So um, you won't have to add any other wet ingredients to this recipe. 
So once everything is um, incorporated, you kind of want to scrape down your bowl, all that excess flour. You want to scrape down your paddle attachment. If you do not have a KitchenAid that is perfectly fine, you can use a hand mixer. Um, the same things apply. Go ahead and scrape down your bowl. And then you're going to give this a, another um, good mix for about 20 to 30 seconds. You don't want to overbeat it because you don't want your cupcake to be tough um just 20 or 30 seconds is fine and this is what we're looking like now i do um love the fact that the batter is a little bit chunky and then you still have like little chunks of sweet potato in it so that it really gives that cupcake that sweet potato pie feel and taste so here i have my cupcake pan and they're all lined with cupcake liners and you're gonna fill the cupcake up two-thirds of the way and these cupcakes don't really they didn't really rise like OD because as you can see, I filled them up pretty high um, and it didn't overspill. So thank the Lord. <laughs> so you can go ahead and fit them two thirds um, up of the way and they'll be fine. And you're going to bake them um, on 350 for 12 to 15 minutes or until you can like kind of touch the top and it kind of bounce back at you. So depending on your oven. So while our cupcakes are baking, we're gonna go ahead and get started on our cream cheese frosting. So here I have softened unsalted butter. I also have softened cream cheese, and then we're gonna add some vanilla. Now we're gonna mix that until it's nice and silky. I prefer a hand mixer um, for this stage, just to ensure that our, um, our cream cheese and butter is like really, really silky, um, especially for piping um, with cupcakes. So yeah, use your hand mixer or your stand mixer if you have. If you have a whisk, you know, power to you. So once my butter and cream cheese is silky, went ahead and added half of my sugar. And then I kind of played around with it a little bit because as you can see, some of the sugar kind of bounced up. And we don't want sugar all over nobody's kitchen. So just start slow, um, low and slow, and kind of work your way around the bowl and just gradually adding the sugar that's like caked up on the sides in and then you see it smooths out and it's all beautiful. So when making icing, it started off looking a mess, but y'all, patience, okay? It will come together. So now I'm gonna add the other half of um, our sugar and then gonna do the same thing, low and slow, and then eventually everything will come together, guys. Look, it look a mess right now, but baby, give it a minute or two and it's gonna come in there, it's gonna be so silky and so smooth. So make it icing, need patience. It doesn't look right at first, but, but we'll get there. So look, two minutes later, boom, nice and silky. Um, I do prefer my cream cheese on the stiffer side. So yeah, this is perfect. So our cupcakes are ready and I am going to leave them out for a bit so that they can come down um, and kind of cool off a little bit before we pipe them. I'm loving the golden brown color on these, so they came out really, really, really beautiful. So um, the temperature of our cupcakes have come down and I'm ready to pipe. So I have a Wilton 1M tip, and then I went ahead and put our cream cheese frosting in a piping bag. If you don't have a piping bag, um, I suggest you get one. I'm not really a fan of the Ziploc bags um, with the piping tips. I mean, you know, use what you have, but I suggest getting a piping bag and then you are going to pipe your desired amount of icing on each cupcake. Now I am very dramatic, so I believe in a lot of icing and it just, it really complements um, the cupcake, but it's your cupcake. You make this however you want to, if you want just a little bit of icing on top, or if you want to pile mine up like I did for, of course, presentation purposes, be my guest and boom, super, super simple. And there you have it, sweet potato pie cupcakes. You guys, I promise you, this recipe will not let you down. My house literally smelled like it was Thanksgiving time and we were up early baking pies. The, the flavor profile in this cupcake is just out of this world. And who knew that we could turn a sweet potato pie into a cupcake, y'all. So if you decide to try this recipe, please let me know how it comes out in the comment section below. This is good for holidays. This is good for literally any occasion, birthdays, brunch, um, family gatherings, you name it. These cupcakes will be the perfect um, crowd pleaser. 
So thank you guys again for tuning into another video. I will be back with more recipes. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next recipe. And of course, I could not leave this video without indulging and look how silky. And you see the little bits of sweet potato still in the cupcake? Y'all get into it. So again, thank you for watching this video. I will see you guys soon. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And to my old subscribers, thank you guys for riding with me. And we're still riding. Bye.